we'll move on to our last one and this is uh the uh, saber ceo and he's talking about how with um 40k space marine 2 he just wanted it to be as fun as possible and engaging and immersive um he says uh, allegedly that he's tired of people putting messages in their games you know talking to you concord we're talking to you dust for this and uh mm -hmm. we'll get into what he says specifically or what he allegedly says specifically um this is coming from pc games is being pinned by will nelson simple i love that name buddy uh saber interactive ceo matthew karch appears to claim that warhammer 40k space marine 2 is a throwback game that avoids overblown attempts at messaging or imposing morals on gamers karch's supposed comments are in response to a zach oh that's right as my <laughs> wait a second wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> how in the world because that actually is this how is it alleged when he actually comments that on Asmongold's. So what what are we doing here? Will? I have no it, I don't. It's because they, they're saying, well, maybe it's a fake account. <laughs> okay. But, uh... <laughs> okay. Um, this is a Asmongold video on the shooter, which reacts to the notion uh, that Space Marine 2 is a remi reminder of what we lost in video games. Um, do, 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 do. Nope. Hey, man. CEO of Saber here. I love your videos. The account writes, uh, the account writes in response to Asmund Gold's above clip. When we signed the deal to make Space Marine 2, all I wanted was a throwback game. We had the chance to work on something which it, uh, by its nature was old school. I can't even comprehend many of the current games that we play these days. They are too complex and too much of an investment. We worked on Halo back in the day, and that game could be distilled down to the simplest of shooting loops, but it was entirely addicting. This is what we wanted to recapture. I hope that games like Space Marine 2 and Wukong are the start of a, a reversion to a time when games are simply about fun and immersion. I spent some time as Chief Operating Officer at Embracer <laughs> with Darth Lars, and I saw games that were that <laughs> made me want to cry with their overblown attempts at messaging or imposing morals on gamers. We just want to do some glory kills and get that heart rate up a little. For me, that is what games should be about and i couldn't agree more allegedly with um, <laughs> Karch on this you know what i mean absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal we can go through a gamut of games that have failed because they are trying to impose a certain message on people you know and people are just tired of it they're, they're just sick and tired of um you know not being able to escape the world that's like breathing down their neck or you know ringing oh, yeah. in their ears all the time <clears throat> all they want to do is kill some freaking aliens man can i do that <laughs> can I do yeah that? <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, mean, like, I want to take a break from this world mm -hmm. so i'm going to go to another world that's completely separate has its own rules laws lore and everything mm -hmm. and i want to just live there for a bit and i want to give myself a break from the current world that i'm living in because i need to that's right that's it that's yeah. it that's all it is Mm -hmm. this is no big mystery yeah like i think they just get too much into it like you guys are saying and just go back to the old ways where you're just having fun you're escaping from this world mm -hmm. simple yeah. nothing crazy just have a good time that's it what did that dude say that was so wrong he wants games that are uh about fun and immersion oh no oh, yeah no. oh <laughs> Thank you, no. we can't have that <laughs> oh god we have to be yeah. preaching all the time every yes. time like come on yeah. yeah it's simple stupid stuff i mean you hear, you hear people tell say say this all the time it's like you have to force people to change the way that they think right so you've got to make it hard on them so Put the message everywhere. Um, you can try. Yeah. <laughs> they try hard. And it, what we're try, saying now is a huge rejection of all that garbage. You know? Well, yeah, because I'll they've made the mistake of assuming that their audience is dumb. <laughs> yes. Or the people who <laughs> want that, like, this stuff is bigger than it really is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. sorry. They I keep interrupting you guys. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no, no. Good. Like, this, you're good. This is good. I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah like this is what happens when you think your audience is dumb when you assume that if somebody else gets their messaging to them first they'll win this doesn't capture the flag <laughs> you're talking about real people that have thoughts of their own i know sometimes when you're on twitter it's hard to think that way but it's yeah. true <laughs> oh my god it's, yeah 
<laughs> I mean, people love retro games for a reason, for mm -hmm. this reason, and people are playing retro games more nowadays mm -hmm. because of that. Because yep. it's just a simple world I can go and I can play and I can forget about all my problems. I can forget about work. I forget about like family issues. I can forget about that jerk that cut me off in traffic. <laughs> you know, I can just go play this game and just relax and yep. just put my brain on pause mm -hmm. and just do some fun platforming, kill yep. some zombies. My 100%. favorite no. game is Black Desert Online. And oh yeah, that's that's you, it's a one there's of there's so much to do in that game. Holy yes. crap! <laughs> yeah, and literally the the biggest thing about it is just the action. Like mm -hmm. there's 23 different character types, Whoa. right? Okay. Um. Yeah. And there is like the action is the selling point of the game. So you could literally go around for an hour and kill things, and nice. that's what I want to do. I want to go an hour, two hours run around kills and mobs of monsters with epic you know just action-packed moves and everything like that and just learn how to do different kind of things and then if i want to go and chop trees for an hour i can you know, or if i want to be a fisherman on my boat i can dude like there's so many things in that game that like you get so lost mm -hmm. into it but J um jay book took me on like an extended tour of that game yeah and, and I, I killed was... my horse <laughs> <laughs> He was trying to show, like, he should. Well, we weren't trying to. You showed me, like, all the different things going on. I was like, yeah. holy crap. This yeah, game is it's huge. massive. Like, it is crazy. The map. What's the like, name of it again? Black Desert I'm Online. An idiot. Man, God, it's, free, it's free to play, right? Um, so. Oh, that's the one you tried to get me into. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's the one I tried to get you into. Um, <laughs> it was free to play. Um, then now it got off of the game pass and i think they they had a recent sale for the game i think it was just ten dollars mm -hmm. and then you could get it for uh playstation xbox and pc um there's throughout the year they, they go on sales but um yeah man it's awesome it's an awesome game um i love it i'm an action junkie so mm -hmm. that's that's how i escape from this real world like when i just want to get away and i want to do things God, I jump man, on that. So there's so, no no current day stuff in there. No, <laughs> none of that. No, no yeah, well, no, it's soon. No Planet Earth stuff in there. Just all like, yeah. yeah. Like, Hold on. <laughs> it's definitely no current day stuff in there. You no, can, no, you, none of Just that. like what they tried to get um, Stellar Blade on. It's like, oh, oh you know. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I just saw a picture like yeah. that for Dark. Like, think about it. Think Black Desert. Think yeah, about no, your favorite game. <laughs> think about your favorite game. I don't care how old it is. Mm -hmm. Right, think of like Pac-Man. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. And they they just insert modern day stuff into that. And you're still gonna feel. I, I know I'm not gonna feel the yeah. same way about that game yep. because mm -hmm. I can't use this to really escape the mm -hmm. real world. The real world came mm -hmm. to my game. It cracked open that window, and now yeah. it's sitting beside me, telling me that I, whatever. Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah. Well said. I, I, well said. I don't. I don't get why this is. I don't get why this is hard for people to understand, <laughs> other than that they don't want to understand it. Right, no. choosing that to. <laughs> they yeah. they want to force it down your throat through any means necessary. You will comply, yes. Nas, <laughs> <laughs> or you won't have any games to play because we got all. You sound games like the board. The board, <laughs> you will comply. Resistance is futile. Because <laughs> yeah. we were talking about Warhammer 40k, mm -hmm. and I I wanted to see how many people were playing this game right now. This game that allegedly doesn't have any messaging and just lets people have fun and be immersed in it yeah and there's currently eighty six thousand four hundred and fifty nine people playing this game on steam right on, on steam yeah right on that has a all-time peak of two hundred and twenty five thousand six hundred and ninety players they're doing all right <laughs> how, how many's got how many has uh concord got um hmm. no, no. <laughs> they've been shut down Yep. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Casual Consumers live stream every Saturday. Xavier.